Hey, it's John Siskovich, and I'm in the farm office, and I'm working on tracking my labor by operation on farm. That includes marketing time, office time, and then gets into laying hens, sheep, hops, apples, everything. So we've broken it down into 13 categories, and we're using Google Sheets to organize it. Now let's head over to the computer, and I'll show you exactly what we did. <laughs> So we're here in the Google document, the Google spreadsheet for Camps Road Farms tracking labor. It's December 2014. We just devised this system, came up with this system. So we're trying it out and we'll see how it goes throughout 2015. So what you're looking at right now is the master spreadsheet. And this takes all the hours over all the different operations. You can see there's 13 different things that we're tracking here and puts them all in one place so we can see at a glance how many hours we spent working on you know the farm that month between myself and anybody else who's working on the farm. And then we have all the operations broken down into tabs. So these 13 things are broken down into 13 tabs between general farm, marketing, office, layers, sheep, veggies, broilers, hops, apples, and it goes on. So as we're tracking, uh, we have all this in hours, so it's 29.7 hours that we've been tracking this so far. Uh, let's just go over the layers tab and I'll show you exactly how we do this. So we have the days on the left in this column and then we have the months up in the top and then every you know in December for this specific day we worked 45 minutes and we've been entering it in as minutes because you can keep track of how many minutes you've worked just by looking at your clock and go into the spreadsheet and add those minutes one of the things that I like, if I worked 45, you know, if Alan worked 45 minutes and I worked 15 minutes, I can just hit plus 15. It might have to do equals to make an equation. And you hit enter, and then it's 60. And you can see my minutes plus his minutes or whatever the case may be. I'll just go clean that up a little bit. So we do that by minutes so we can keep track. If there's anything, you know, if it normally takes 45 minutes, 40 minutes, if there's anything crazy that happens, we add in a note to say, hey, why did this take much longer? And to do that, you just right click with your mouse and insert note, and you can just type whatever that note is in there. I don't need that. And then at the bottom, I made a simple equation, you know, the sum of this entire column. You can go up here to functions and hit sum and then just highlight the boxes that you want to add together. And then I did it divided by 60 to give me the hours. Now if we click back over to the master, I have it all referenced by month, by operation, and then a total for the entire farm. This, you can see up here, you hit the equal sign, and then you click over to whatever tab you want and whatever um, cell that you want to reference, and just click on that cell, and it'll generate you know, layers, exclamation point, B34 that's the cell that I'm referencing and that's how we're going to track labor for now um, we'll see if it gets more complicated than this or more detailed I'll say but I wanted to keep it easy get used to looking at my watch tracking my hours and keeping track of everything on farm and then if we want to get more detailed on you know chores versus a special project we'll dig into that later for now we're going to handle that through the notes and comments section and that's it Thanks for stopping in to the farm office today. I hope this helps with your farm labor tracking. And uh, if you have any questions, keep the conversation going in the comments section below. Thanks.